When Amy Saunders decided to come off her contraceptive pill her skin fed up like never before. Before long it was so bad she wouldn't leave the house without a full face of makeup. She'd had spots since she was about 11, but always just assumed it was a teenage thing she would grow out of. The 27-year-old said, The reaction my body had after coming off the pill was indescribable. Over the years I've experienced various negative comments from people about my skin, mainly from innocent children who have asked, what's that, while pointing to my face but I have also experienced hurtful comments from people I know and work with, these are the comments that have cut so deep. A part of me felt I could almost kid myself that my skin wasn't that bad, or that my experience as a makeup artist meant that it was hardly noticeable underneath my skillfully applied makeup, but the second someone points out something that you are so deeply self-conscious about, there's no going back. She struggled with low self-image for a while before she decided enough was enough and visited her doctor, who told her the only way she would get clear skin was by going back on the pill or by taking acne medicine Accutane. But Amy, who lives in Brighton, knew straight away this wasn't for her and she decided to approach it in a different way. Image, Amy Saunders, skin therapy, me, she refused the hormone-filled medication and decided to try a completely natural alternative which would heal the body rather than just mask the symptoms. It started with an initial healing, which involved a dramatic diet change, gut healing probiotics and supplements. She also switched to non-toxic natural cosmetics. She said, I now keep my skin under control by using gentle, natural skincare products and eating a healthy, whole food diet rich in healthy fats such as seeds, avocado, salmon and butter and plenty of fermented foods like sauerkraut or kimchi. Image, Amy Saunders, skin therapy, me, image, Amy Saunders, skin therapy, me, despite my healthy diet, I will never say no to the occasional gin and tonic a bar of chocolate, I fully believe in balance and find that being too restrictive with your diet can actually make your skin worse. I also find that regular exercise and taking time out to relax and de-stress have a huge impact on the quality of my skin too. She started a blog and Instagram page to document her journey and to provide tips and advice for other people who suffer with acne. She said, After 15 years of hating my reflection and being so self-conscious of my skin, I'm still getting used to looking at a clear complexion every day. Image, Amy Saunders, Skin Therapy, Me. I'm so proud of everything I've achieved, especially over the last three years and although my natural healing journey had many bumps along the way, I get regular emails from my followers saying what a huge difference they've seen in their skin since discovering my Instagram and blog. Helping young women take back control of their skin and see such a positive difference makes all the suffering and setbacks I endured so worthwhile. Sugar and refined carbohydrates are, by far, the biggest trigger but I always struggled with cutting down on these trigger foods as it would often leave me hungry, moody and lethargic. Image, Amy Saunders, Skin Therapy, Me. However, things changed dramatically when I started exploring the HFLC, high-fat low-carb, diet and found that by increasing my intake of healthy fats, my skin very quickly started to clear, my periods became regular and I stopped craving sugar and junk food. I've even had a couple of acne sufferers message me to say that they had gone from getting spots every day, to not getting a single spot since introducing more healthy fats to their diet. While these extreme success stories are rare and many people do require a little more help to achieve fully clear skin, it does show that what you put in your body can have such a huge impact on the overall health of your skin. Image, Amy Saunders, Skin Therapy, Me. After years of being told by my doctors that my skin condition was genetic and aside from Accutane there was not a lot they could offer, I found that taking back control of my skin was the key to helping my embrace my skin. Before I started skin therapy, I felt so alone and lost, like my health was completely out of my control but from the moment I started sharing my story, I felt empowered to inspire others which gave me the strength to start loving myself more and stop being so critical of my skin. For more information see www.skintherapyblog.com